Getting outside of your comfort zone. It can be hard, scary, and even challenging to say the least. But truth is, you will never reach the next level if you remain comfortable. And this whole entire video is dedicated to how I'm getting outside of my comfort zone and why you need to as well. So as my journey as a content creator, I'm always looking for ways to improve, make my content better, make it more relatable for you guys, make it more entertaining, and pretty much willing to do any and everything to accomplish my goals on social media. However, there has been one thing that I have been very, very, very scared of for a long time. And the reason why I've been scared of this was not because it's a scary thing. It was just a skill that I have never learned and it seemed very complicated and I didn't know where to start. And that is getting into filming videos known as log. If you notice, this video looks a lot different than the normal videos that I post. You could even call this somewhat of a cinematic type of vibe. And I will be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm doing. But if being a content creator has taught me anything is that you will never improve until you start. And instead of me sitting here and doing hours of research online about the best settings for log and how to increase and decrease exposure and set everything up perfectly, I decided to just do it. So disclaimer, I have no idea what this video looks like or if I even use the correct camera settings, but that's not what it's about. It's about me taking that initial step and trying out a new skill to improve on that I've never done before. When I say I'm a beginner at S-Log, I mean a beginner. I didn't even know how to put my camera in log mode until this morning, but I watched a couple of 10 minute YouTube videos and to test it out, let's go outside. All right, it's actually raining outside. Um, I didn't expect it to be this. I mean, I seen it was raining, but I didn't know it was like, I just seen the ground wet. So I didn't know like it was actually currently raining. So. We gotta find a, a spot. Well, that didn't exactly go as planned. I wanted to be outside. It was a nice gloomy day. Thought it would look really cool with, you know, the S log that I'm trying to do and all of that, but Obviously, I don't want to ruin my $2,000 camera investment. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. But you a little too far, come a little closer, come a little closer. I wanted to make this video to talk about the importance of getting outside of your comfort zone. Over this last year of really blowing up on social media, I've been able to connect with a lot of other content creators who constantly ask me, how do you grow on social media? How do you edit your video so good? How do you, how do you create this awesome content? And the thing that I always tell them when people get down on themselves and they're comparing their content to other people like myself or any other type of creator is I always tell them, just start now. I understand that you want your content or whatever you're trying to mimic, you want it to be as good as possible, right? But just post it. It doesn't have to be you know, this perfect video with all of these perfect overlays and these crazy transitions like you might see my content, just post what you can do now. And the more you do that, you will get better and better. And I told them that out of my own personal experience because the videos that I post right now are not as nearly as good as the videos that I was posting last year. For the last couple months, you know, I've really been seeing a lot of creators use S-Log and log footage and it was just always something that I didn't understand and something that just seemed very very complicated I tried it out a few times I didn't know how to color grade my footage was coming out grainy and you know this it still could be grainy I have no idea because I'm just I'm testing it out but I realized that I need to practice what I preach I tell a lot of other people do not focus on creating perfect content just focus on creating 
and you will get better at it. And as I thought about that, I said, you know, I can't I can't be telling other people these things and not doing it myself. So I felt like, you know, S log is something that I want to get good at and, and learn how to color grade. I need to just do that instead of worrying about how good it looks and, and how to use these color grading skills. Listen, I'm going to be real with you. I don't know what I'm doing. This video could look really, really bad, but I'm still going to post it because this is the beginning of me getting out of my comfort zone in this aspect of my life, in this new skill set. It's okay. You know what I mean? Like I said, if this video gets two views versus a thousand views versus a hundred thousand views at the end of the day i'm posting this not only to help you to get out of your comfort zone but for me to actually practice what i'm preaching and i would say one of the best reasons and the biggest benefits of getting out of your comfort zone is the opportunity to grow right whatever aspect or whatever category of your life you're in if you want to grow you have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone, right? It's like working out. If you want to be a bodybuilder or if you want to gain weight, if you want to lose weight, whatever it is, if you want to gain weight, for example, and you know you can be lifting 50 pound weights, but you choose to use 10 because it's comfortable and you don't put your muscles under any stress and you allow them to maintain comfortability, your muscles will never grow. And it's the same thing in life, right? If you want to be a content creator, right? But you are uncomfortable being in front of the camera and you don't step out of your comfort zone to sit in front of the camera and to talk directly to the camera with confidence, you will never grow as a content creator. Literally any aspect you want to talk about in terms of getting outside of your comfort zone is going to require you to grow. If you want to grow, there's no if, ands, buts about it. You have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone. And just take me, for example. I want to become better at this YouTube thing. I want to create better videos for you guys. I want to create more visually appealing, entertaining video for you guys while also inspiring you and giving you value. And this is something that if I learn this skill will allow me to do that. But it's something that I was scared of, which I still am a little bit because I don't even know how this video is going to turn out. It, it was unknown territory for me. I watched a 15 minute YouTube video this morning on log footage and a little bit of basic beginner knowledge and just decided I'm going to turn this camera on and I'm going to practice what I preach to other people and just start. It's better. It, there's a thing called analysis paralysis where you worry so much about analyzing what you're doing and how to do it perfect that you never end up doing it. And that's exactly what happened to me. You know, I've watched S log videos before and how to color grade, but I never actually done it right. I said, oh, well, I'm going to wait until I get a little bit better at it or I'm going to wait until, you know, whatever the excuse is, they're just excuses because the way to get better at it is to actually do it right. Actually create these videos doing what you want to do. And hey, I might do it and say, you know what? I don't really even like that look anymore, but it's the principle of me getting out of my comfort zone in doing something that's going to allow me to grow. The second benefit of getting out of your comfort zone is expanding your world. And just to be a little bit more clear, getting out of your comfort zone looks so different for everybody. That can be as simple as waking up at seven instead of waking up at eight, or that could be traveling across the country, moving all the way across the country, right? It, it, it looks different because what makes you comfortable is not the same as what makes this person comfortable. It's just a simple principle of getting out of your comfort zone. But when you do that, it allows you to meet more people. It allows you to learn more skills. It gives you a different experience that you are not used to having. And this is where the opportunity to learn and to grow and to get better comes from. I assume a lot, a lot of people, you know, are, are kind of shy. And when they're in social environments, they don't do a lot of networking. And, you know, they don't probably talk too many. They don't talk to too many people unless they know them or feel comfortable talking to them. My opportunity for growth is to step out of your comfort zone and to begin walking up to people you don't know and starting a conversation because you never know who that person is. What if that person is somebody who can put you onto the, your dream job that you've always wanted? Or what if that's somebody who's an entrepreneur in the exact same field that you're trying to start 
start a business in. So it's really important to understand that when you get out of your comfort zone, you open up your world to so much more. Getting out of your comfort zone also allows you to build confidence, right? When you accomplish things you in your head deemed to be impossible and thought would be very, very challenging to do, and you actually accomplish it, it's going to give you more confidence. For example, this is me exercising, practicing what I'm preaching. Right now, I have no idea how this YouTube video is going to turn out. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know if I'm going to color grade it right. I don't know if I even have the right camera settings. But if I do produce this YouTube video and it looks great, I'm going to have a lot more confidence as a creator to keep doing this. And that goes for everything in your life. If you accomplish, you know, uh, your goal as a content creator was to reach 10,000 Instagram followers and you do that, now you're going to have the confidence to say, hey, I'm trying to reach 100,000 followers. And I'm only saying this because this has happened to me. It's currently 2024, but for 2023, my goal was to reach 5,000 followers on Instagram. Only 5,000. Well, I'm saying only right now, but back then that was a huge goal to me. I only had around 2,000 Instagram followers and 5,000 almost seemed to be impossible but i decided to get out of my comfort zone and to do the things that made me uncomfortable to reach that goal and i ended the year off with 80,000 followers on instagram and now my goal for this year is to reach 125,000 instagram followers so you see how that gave me the confidence right reaching reaching what i reached last year gave me the confidence to create a goal of hey i think i can do this again and that same thing applies in your life as well. And lastly, my personal favorite of getting out of your comfort zone is that you have the opportunity to inspire other people while doing it. Everybody comes from different walks of life. Everybody struggles with different things. And like I said earlier, everybody has different things that make them comfortable. But when you see another individual doing the exact same thing that you were scared of, or thought you couldn't do, that could be inspiration or motivation for them to step outside of their comfort zone. So for example, I'm putting myself on display right now, getting outside of my comfort zone in hopes to inspire you to do the exact same thing. Now sure, color grading a YouTube video and log is, is not this huge accomplishment and it's not this thing where I have a lot on the line to risk, but the smallest ways that you can step out of your comfort zone can still inspire people to step out of their comfort zone in even bigger ways, right? And that's the whole purpose of me creating this YouTube video. Of course, I want to exercise my creative skills using log footage and color grading in a cinematic way, but the basis of it is for me to put this on display to inspire you and to motivate you to go out and step outside of your comfort zone. So remember, the next time you have the opportunity to step outside of your comfort zone, remember all of the benefits and also that it's not always about you there might be somebody who's looking up to you there's always somebody watching you whether you want to believe it or not so there might just be that one person who's looking up to you or not even looking up to you just looking at you and seeing what decision you're going to make and what move you're going to make and when you make that initial decision to get outside of your comfort zone that might just be what they needed to see or hear for them to do the same thing as well. So I hope that you feel inspired by this video. Of course, I would have loved to have been talking to you guys outside because it would have allowed me to practice my skills a little bit better, but hey, something is better than nothing. So really, really hope that this YouTube video turned out visually okay. I'm really, really nervous to go back and actually edit it because like I said, I have no idea what this looks like, what it sounds like. I don't even know if this mic is on right now, but Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.